Well, students, let's talk about creating a bibliography in Microsoft Word. I'll tell you, if you don't learn anything else from this class, well, you better learn a bunch from this class, but I think this is one of the key things in the way of time savings and, and making bibliographies and citations correct. Now, first of all, you'll notice that I am in APA style. That's the style I had to work in in my master's. And I've used uh, what I'm about to teach you to create over a 1,000 pages of essay in the past two years. So simply what we're going to talk about are inserting citations and then creating a bibliography. If we insert the citation correctly, we can then easily create a bibliography. So I have a citation here that I've created, and we'll go take a look at that one. So notice I highlight it. I know it's a dynamic citation. I'm able to hit here, and I can either edit the source or edit the actual citation. So. Uh, realize that in Microsoft APA style, MLA style, they're just guidelines. Your writing instructors or instructors that are that are requiring MLA or APA should give you some sort of style guide. So this style may not be exactly what they want, and in the in the case of the bibliography, you might find it it varies a lot. So, but the nice thing is it's a great starting point. I was able to know exactly what I had to change. As you're going to see, I'm going to create a complete bibliography in three clicks at the end of this paper. But first, let's go back. Let's just edit this source. So we can see right off the bat that this source here is a miscellaneous source. Here's the authors. I can edit the authors, the title publisher. I can show all bibliography fields or change this to show different fields for different citations. So I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to just real quick for fun pretend like this is a quote here. Earnings figures given to underwriters. Uh, this option would have certainly been more realistic. I'm going to go ahead and put a quote there and I'm going to insert a citation. So I'm going to come up here and notice currently I have three citations for the case that I read. I'm going to add a new source. So I'm in References, Insert Citation, Add a New Source. And sure, I'll make it a website. Let's go ahead. I always like to come here. That way I can do the author correctly and know that it's going to format correctly. So let's use Magidson, Eric James. There we go. We'll say Add. OK. Name of the web page. So this is going to be you know, Information. Let's see what were we talking about. Earnings information on corporate earnings. The website is corp earn and taxes dot com. The year I'm going to make that up to now notice that this is the year of the web page, so you might find this down in the copyright. The month we'll say was the fourth, and we'll make this the 23rd day. So 23rd day, April 2000. Now, I just actually uh, accessed this information in 2010. The month is seven, and the date accessed is 17. Then I need to type the URL, which normally includes the website name, so I'm going to say HTTP colon whack whack www dot and then a quick paste. Oops, it's not going to paste it. Let's go grab it again. Control C, come down here, Control V, and say OK. So as you can see, it inserted the citation. So I had many citations already done. I can look at the manage sources, so I can come in here and see the sources that are in the current paper, manage them. Now on your computers, this master list will continue to build over the computer uh, and include a bunch of sources. So if you're in a class where you're going to use a book and cite it in many papers, that book would come here and I can just copy it over to the list. Then it would show up here in Insert Citation. Notice these are the ones that are in the current paper. It would show up there, and I could insert it without making any changes. So you can see how important it is to get the citations right the first time. So here's the magic, folks. I've got all these citations. I'm going to go to the end of my paper. I've already created. Let me turn on the Show Hide Paragraph Marks. I have an empty paper here, empty page. I'm going to come in here, go back to References, and I'm going to choose insert bibliography. Now I have a couple options here. I've got some pre-formatted or if I just want a blank bibliography without the 
you know title of bibliography or the title of work cited I can choose just that but I'm going to choose bibliography one click there's my bibliography now I happen to know that you know this style is wrong for APA so I would want to go ahead and change that style right now I'm going to just quickly make it double space and I'm gonna call it good now of course you need to indent some things so there we go there is a quick bibliography so again remember go ahead and pause these try this come back to the video and get a hand creating bibliographies uh, folks again if you do the citations correctly in your paper what was it three clicks to a bibliography at the end it's gonna save you a bunch of time you can then look at your style guide reference it to make any changes to underlining or bolding or semicolons where there's currently commas whatever to to make it match the style guide that your instructors give you hope that helps have a good one we'll talk to you soon